Today you'll be reading some funny test answers. Ooh, I like that. Test answers? Oh, this is the best when students are just like, I'm gonna write whatever the heck I want or just like answer something funny because they don't know. A lot of the time I wish I had the guts to do something like that just for shits and giggles. As a student, sometimes you really just don't know so you just have to guess and take the best guess you can so it should be interesting to see. Where was the American Declaration of Independence sign? At the bottom. Well, duh. At the bottom. Bruh. <laughs> he took that so literal, wow. It's kind of like an obvious answer, and you're just like, at the bottom, D dummy, obviously, you know? To be honest, though, this is making me doubt myself, though. I don't think I, I know where it was signed at Philadelphia. I couldn't be a teacher, because if I got some of these, my sense of humor, I'd just be like, yes, A+. plus. Draw a picture of what you will look like in 100 years. In 100 years, I will be <laughs> dead. In 100 years, you would be... <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's a weird question to ask someone in a hundred years. Why was that even a question? I mean, if someone actually put that they're even alive, I'd be like, hey, they got some some big dreams. So negative. He doesn't even say, like, beloved husband, whatever, whatever. It's just like, Warren, rest in peace. Oh my gosh, and it's like a little kid's handwriting. That's so, like, sad. He's just thinking that he's gonna be dead, that that's his sense of humor right now. This is an answer that makes sense, though, because what else are you gonna look like in a hundred years, you know? You're not gonna look like Superman. I'm pretty sure, Warren, you're on the right track. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, find X. Here it is. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, he's not wrong either. That's totally me. I'm not good at math in any way, shape, or form. I hate math with my life. And like, find X. That's something I would do. This hurts my heart because this is simple math. What is it equal? I just don't know if these people are just doing it because they really don't know, or they're trying to be funny. But like, failing isn't funny. What ended in 1896? 1895. 1895? Ha ha, ha ha ha. <laughs> 1895? Dang, these guys are smart. Oh my gosh, I love these kids. Obviously not the answer, but an answer of some sort. Like, it technically is true. I would hate to be a teacher and having to like have these as answers and just like laugh, but then be like wrong, like no. Name Frankie. I earn money at my home by I don't. I am a freeloader. <laughs> I don't, I am a freeloader. Well, dang, honesty. I am a freeloader. <laughs> Me. How does he even know what a freeloader is? Maybe his parents are like, you don't have an opinion, you're a freeloader. And so he just was like, I'm a freeloader. I'm pretty sure this question was directed at like a little elementary grade school kid, you know? Like, who's making money at in the fourth grade? Your parents aren't having you do chores or anything? Like, I did chores, but I never got money for it, but still, it's something. The diagram below best illustrates, uh, I guess, none of those. Instead, giraffes are heartless creatures. Oh, that is so sad. They died because he just wanted some leaves. The giraffe isn't tall enough to feed himself so he starved to death and they're just still eating like it didn't even happen. I would have put E too. It's not even funny, it's like real sub, heartless. Why did the kid even like think that he should just like make his own and that was gonna work? That's literally me and my family. I'm the shortest person and they won't help me get stuff off the top shelf. Can you just reach over? Nikki, hey, take the wrench, man. I got you, homie. Darwin one will Darwin one will get you today. Extra credit, what is the strongest force on earth? Love. Aw, that's cute. Did the teacher really cross it out, though? That's upsetting. But he's right. That's actually a fact. In spiritual terms, love is the, the highest vibration. Well, at least it was an extra credit point, so he didn't lose or gain anything. I would put love, too, because it is. How do you think I was conceived? Love is amazing, but... This teacher obviously got the wrong end of the stick when it came to love. Yes! That wins all wars and is the perfect answer for anything. If people say you didn't get that answer right, screw them. Name the quadrilateral. That's what's up, uh, Bob, Sam, Tedison, what? Tedison, Kate, Harry with one R. The word box is right there with all the names, you just gotta put it right there. That square don't even look like a Bob. It looks like a good Jeffrey. Why didn't I think of that one? When I, I was too goody two-shoes, like I'm trying to get my answers correct to even put something funny because I was so scared of getting a bad grade. When I was a little kid, I had the same dilemma because I remember seeing this for the first time and they were like, describe, describe these shapes. And I got so mad because I didn't know how to describe them. I was like, what are they, nice, mean? I don't know how they are. I definitely sympathize with Hope you're naming these quadrilaterals. What is the dotted line called? 
the elder one i don't get it is that like some sort of reference to something oh oh i like this joke it's a harry potter reference what is the dotted line called the elder one harry potter reference ha 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 i haven't read the books i'm not a huge harry potter fan so i don't really quite get the reference but i'm pretty sure if i was like really big into harry potter it'd be hilarious that's funny obviously you got it wrong but it's funny I don't know what the answer is, that's the thing, like, I haven't taken math in like two years, so I don't know any of these math equations to even like judge them and be like, how could you not know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> right, less than or greater than? So 0.5 or, okay. <laughs> but or what, come on kid, or what? It's or for the entire thing. I don't know if these kids are like being serious or they're joking, like that's the thing, like, if my kids brought me that, like, I would laugh, but then I'd be like, no, no, like, that's that's not, that's not what you're supposed to do. That really irritates my soul. That's all you had to do, just put some little alligators there, and he just wanted to put or because it sounded like an improper sentence. That's something I've done, actually. When they asked true or false, I would just literally put true and false on sometimes when they wouldn't know. I just put both. That's what's so uh, Honestly, I feel like they all deserve an A++. I'm proud of all of them. I am annoyed. Tess dressed me the hell out. Like it freaks me out. So when they did this and when I saw it, it's like, why would you do that? They're funny. One of us every once in a while puts a fake answer down or we just don't care. If you really don't know it, like that's a fun way of doing it. But I feel like teachers just get annoyed because they're like, Wasting their time, like having to grade your like not real answers. It's just amazing how they're solving their problems with humor instead of actually trying to solve their problems. Because that's what I do in life. Thanks for watching this episode on the React channel. We have new shows practically every day, so subscribe. Hit that like button if you like this episode. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Katie, a React channel producer. Let me know down in the comments what else the teen should be reacting to. Thank you guys.